So uh, I was talking about making a language live or making sure that a language's status is always kept to live. Uh, how do you actually do that? I'll show you that bit now. You go back into content translation within the admin area. Uh, you can click on the manage site breadcrumb over here, which takes you back to the main page within editing a language. Now over here, the edit settings section actually allows you to do that. So if you click on edit settings, you can associate your language with a theme. You can also set your site status to live from under construction. You can also select whether you want this to be your default uh, website or your default super site, which basically means that every time any potential customer or existing customer comes on your website, they act actually by default see this language super site. And of course, you can select RTL support. Now, since this language is live, I'll make the other language that we've created live so that you can see how the changes reflect onto the super site. So I go to the Chinese simplified super site, click on manage site. Within this, I go to the edit settings section and I can change the site status to live over here. I don't want it to be my default website and then I click on save. Now, uh, just to show you this change on the super site, I just give it a control F5. Now, this is actually a uh, demo super site that I'm actually using. Uh, obviously, you know, your uh, the live account that you'd be on will be faster than this in terms of reflecting changes. And well, here you go. Now, on the top right hand corner, you see a drop down that appears that currently shows uh, English. You can select Chinese simplified, click on it and all the changes would reflect. Well, uh, this is currently in English because obviously it has not been translated. But just to show you the changes, you can see that this search is still searched. This is the original content and so is this super site. So, uh, I think this should actually cover the languages section for now. The only thing to actually keep in mind is that you probably need to figure out a way to actually identify the page that you want to edit or the page within which you want to edit the content and uh, you know then work your way around within the admin area. So let me actually just show you uh, you know how intuitive all the content is within uh, the manage site section. I'll go back to the manage site section over here. Uh, let me actually go back within the English language. I go to edit content and as you can see I mean you know you you have a separate dedicated folder for all the pages that you've uploaded onto the super site so which which actually is another point that I should actually mention that you can actually upload your own pages onto the super site and uh, put up any kind of content that you want and you know the 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 theme settings could apply to these uploaded pages as well uh, anything that's common amongst all pages is available over here. Uh, what would I, what would be common is uh, you know content within your header and your footer. Uh, then of course your home page, uh, certain other miscellaneous pages. Then you you know if you're looking to modify content, let's say for domain registration or digital certificates or any other promo, that's uh, sorry not for any other promo but for any other product. Well, that's available over here as well. I can just use the breadcrumb to go back. And then of course there's the promo section, uh, even your sidebar section is available for you to modify. So as you can see, I mean, uh, you know, the content is available uh, and is structured in a fairly simple fashion. All you have to do is just start editing and you know, it should be fairly simple. So let me just move back to the PPT now. So we've covered adding and editing my languages super site. Let's actually look at editing themes or oh, well adding and editing my super site themes. So let me go back to uh, the dashboard for this. Now as you can see currently there's one theme that exists which is my theme and this is being used 
by the English language and the Chinese simplified language. Now, if I want to add a new theme, uh, I can click on add new theme over here. Give the theme a name. Let's call it for this webinar. I've obviously practiced this before. <laughs> Create theme. So, on creating a theme, as you can see, the, the theme appears within the dashboard and it tells you which language is it being used by. Currently, it's not being used by any language and that's ideally how it should be before you have actually completed modifying the entire look and feel of that particular theme. So, let's actually start off by editing the theme logo. Actually, before I even get to that, let me just tell you whatever is available within a theme to modify, you can modify any image on the super site from within your theme you can also modify the CSS files within the theme so I was talking earlier on when I was covering languages that you should not modify the HTML structure having said that any CSS file is available for you to modify within the theme section so you do not really need to modify the look and feel of your super site by modifying an HTML page you can actually do that from within the theme section itself and that's very important to note because a lot of times resellers actually you know try to modify the look and feel by clicking on the manage site section and trying to work around it over there it's not necessary in fact it should ideally never be done that way it should always be modified within the theme section because in that way we can actually reflect changes uh, that I mentioned earlier within the super site automatically 